Welcome back to a new video. This video is going to be about TFIDF. This video is going to be one of the videos that I create for my natural language processing with Python playlist. I will be adding its link in the cards of this video. Let's start coding. TFIDF, which stands for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency, is a numerical statistic used in natural language processing and information retrieval to evaluate the importance of a word in a document relative to a collection of documents which we can also refer as corpus. So let's start to our tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say import pandas as pd and then I'm going to say from scikit-learn.feature-extraction.text import tf idf vectorizer. It's right in here. Okay, I'm going to create like sentence like sentence is going to be natural language processing is a fascinating field to study. Great, so after that I'm going to initialize the tfidf vectorizer like tfidf vectorizer is going to be this class. After that I'm going to create the tfidf matrix like tfidf matrix tfidf vectorizer that fit transform sentence and after that we can just say like I'm going to show you the results directly and then I'm going to show you the method to see this I will say tfidf matrix to array like this and you will see we have an array right in here so what we can do with this is we can say pd data frame and I will say tfidf matrix to array and I will set the columns like tf idf vectorizer dot get feature names out so after that we can see word by word so i'm just going to change the sentence for you to see the context like i'm going to say i'm going to mix it up it's not going to be a correct english like or maybe we can add sentences like i'm going to say with the same thing natural language processing is great so I like to study great things. Okay, now this is our new sentence and I'm just going to make a run all and then we are going to see that the weights on here changed. So we use these words two times like that's common language, language one and language two. I'm just going to add two more is like at the end, I will say is and is. You are going to see the difference the is weight is going to increase because it occurred more frequently and you can see the weights like that. So we are just getting the information out of text like this, like the counting at the scale of 0 to 1. Great, so the resulting matrix represents the TFIDF values for each word in a sentence. Let's do it with a data frame. I'm just going to say data text and I'm going to create random sentences like NLP is great and we can say like Python is amazing and what, what else we can say is I love studying Python and we can say like I love studying NLP and I think it's enough then I'm going to say data frame and it's going to be PD data frame data so after that we can call data frame and here is our data frame then i'm going to say tfidf matrix again but this time i will add data frame tfidf vectorizer dot fit transform and we will give data frame text after that we can just call tfidf matrix data frame to array again like this and here is the array and I'm just going to use the same method PD data frame and I'm just going to say tfidf matrix data frame to array then I'm going to say columns is going to be tfidf vectorizer dot get feature names out and then I need one more parenthesis closing one and now it's ready great so we can see row wise right now so just for the comparison I'm going to show you that the grade didn't occur in the second sentence or the third or the fourth so the values are zero at that side 
So if we get a column wise sum in here, we are going to see that is happened two times, love happened two times, and Python happened two times like this. And I think I can say that if we add something like studying to second one, for studying, we are going to have three of that. So I'm just going to make them rerun like that. I'm going to say studying is going to happen three times like this. Great. So that was all for this coding part. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I have a playlist named Nature Language Processing with Python. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video. See you in the next tutorial.